Hello everyone. Welcome to troubleshooting series. Guys, today again we are going to troubleshoot one ticket and ticket is you can see PCs are not able to access web server. In my network PCs are not able to means both PCs are not able to access web server. So if both PCs are not able to access server that means problem is big. That means my entire network is not able to ping web server. In last video we had discussed only PC1 was not able to access the server. We fixed that problem also and today also we will fix the problem. So let me verify the problem guys. First of all let me check really PCs are not able to ping web server or not. So here from this PC I am going to open CMD and from CMD let me ping the web server ping 10.1.2.1 you can see the IP configuration of all devices here okay general fit now I will try to ping my de default gateway because here you can see I am not able to definitely ping outside server and let me verify it from PC number 2 also from PC 2 also I am going to ping ping 10.1.2.1 yes you can see general file I am not able to ping the outside your server from PC 1 as well as from PC number 2 now I am going to ping my gateway first this is the first step of troubleshooting right once you are not able to ping the outside server you will check the connectivity from your PC to default gateway so if you are able to ping the gateway that means problem is on routers maybe if you are not able to ping the gateway that means maybe the configuration uh, there is wrong configuration on PC so you will troubleshoot the PC there in that scenario done here I am able to ping the ping not I am not able to ping the outside user so I am going to ping my default gateway so my default gateway is 10.1.1.254 see I am not able to ping my default gateway as well general fail okay from PC number 2 also let me verify that I am able to ping my gateway is not ping 10.1.1.254 see I am not able to ping my gateway as well from both PC so problem related to problem is related to PC only again or maybe you know the the configuration IP configuration PCs are uh, you know assigning IP address from DHCP server and DHCP server is as you can see outside of network and whenever DHCP server is outside of my network then IP helper configuration is required so maybe IP helper configuration can be wrong on router number one so we will verify that also first of all let me verify the IP configuration why I am verifying the IP configuration because I am not able to ping the gateway IP address okay so from PC number one what I am going to do here I am going to run command IP config this is command to check IP address so IP address is you can see 169.254.57.39 this is the range of APIPA that means PC have assigned IP address from APIPA guys so definitely it means DHCP server is not working here we are not configuring IP address manually we are using DHCP for the IP configuration but this PC are not able to uh, you know get IP address from DS DHCP server let me try once again IP config and then slash renew you can use this command to to request for IP address to DHCP server again right or you can definitely turn off and turn on the interface but this one is easiest way that's why I'm using this way it will take some time after that let's see it is getting right IP address or not if it will not get right IP address then definitely I will check IP address sorry router one configuration either I can configure a static IP address here manually but let's say we have more than 100 computer in my LAN so it is not possible to configure IP address manually on each computer right that will be very lengthy task so we will troubleshoot the DHCP okay it will take just few seconds then you will 
you can verify the IP. Wait guys. Whenever you are renewing the IP address, it's taking some time, right? And in EVNG, it will take more time. So don't worry. Soon we are going to get the result. If this IP, this PC will get IP address from a PIPA again, earlier you can see the IP address was from the PIPA range. So I will troubleshoot R1. First step of troubleshooting will be, first of all, we will troubleshoot what IP helper address and let me do same thing on pc2 as well on pc2 also i am going to say ip config renew iphone slash renew okay so it is also renewing his ip address and config IP config let me verify <clears throat> still it is getting IP address from a pipa you can see 192.1 169 <laughs> sorry guys 169.254.57.139 this is the range of a pipa IP address so let me take you on router number one directly now I am going to troubleshoot enable and uh, so IP interface brief first of all let me check the interface which is connected with DSCP server is up or not so IP interface brief exclude and assign after ok all ports is up after that next step should be you should check the connectivity between your router and DSCP server so let me ping on DSCP server as well 10.1.3.1 so yes, I am able to ping DSCP server from router number one. Connectivity is fine. Now I am going to check the IP helper address. So so run interface F0 slash 0. Here you can see IP helper address is 10.1.3.10. But it should be what 10.1.3.1. Right? IP helper address is the IP address of DSCP server. So DSCP server IP address is 10.1.3.1, not 10.1.3.10. Okay. So like this, you can troubleshoot. You know the problem of IP configuration of DSCP whenever DSCP is outside. Now let me correct it. First of all, let me remove this entry. I'm going to remove this entry. So interface F0 slash 0. Say no. And let me hit enter I have removed this entry now if you will verify do so or run interface F0 slash 0 you can see IP helper configuration is not there done and now I am going to say IP helper address 10.1.3.1 10.1.3.1 done so run interface F0 slash 0 done Okay, now let me take you on PC. On PC number one, again I am going to say what? Renew, IP config renew. IP config slash renew. And let me check this time this PC is getting IP address from server or not. Here also and on PC number two also. IP config slash renew IP config done now on PC number one let me verify that this time it is getting a right IP address from DSCP server or not so IP config IP config 
okay this time you can see ip address is 10.1.3.3 and in the same way on pc number 2 also and this time it is not taking much time as well on pc number 2 also i am going to say ip config so ip address is this time 10.1.1.3 to pc number 1 and what is the ip address of pc 2 10.1.1.2 let me verify the outside connectivity from the pc so i am going to ping 10.1.2.1 see now i am able to ping the web server done from pc number 1 also you can verify ping 10.1.2.1 yes so this was just a small troubleshooting and basic troubleshooting guys we are going to discuss advanced troubleshooting as well so that's the reason why i am discussing basic things first okay so make sure you are watching video in the switch right of troubleshooting till now we had made on we have solved only two tickets in next video we will discuss ipv6 troubleshooting these two are ipv4 troubleshooting so next video i will show you the basic troubleshooting of ipv6 guys if you are learning something from my videos please hit on like button if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel as well we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye